In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get your ass into it. And what does that mean? It means using our glute muscles, the gluteus muscles, a little bit more. And we're gonna use a particular exercise called a lateral band walk, or some people do monster walks with these. So let's take a look. There are a couple ways that you can do this or different types of bands, but for today, I'm gonna to use what are called loop bands. I am gonna show you that you can put them around your feet, but some people prefer to put them around their knees if they have knee problems. I just think it's easier to get it around my feet so I don't have to slide it all the way up, and it makes it a little bit more challenging because I've got the resistance lower, so a longer leverage uh, arm in through there. But what does that mean to get your ass into it? A lot of people do this exercise, at least when I'm watching people do it, the most common mistake I see is they stay very upright in here and they'll go to this side, and that resistance as we come out is using these side muscles. Now here's the thing, when you're very upright, you're more likely using these muscles more on the front side of your hip. Uh, it's called the tensor fascia lata. you don't need to remember that, but that's this muscle group right here. And here's the problem, it is a group of muscles that for a lot of people are almost already too uh, stiff and too tight, what people need more help with are these back muscles. So when you hinge a little bit, you don't have to squat low, you just need to get your hips back enough. You might feel a little bit heavier on your heels. And when you do that and walk to the side, and I'll show you from this angle, walking to the side here, now you're gonna start to feel it in those side butt muscles. They're very important muscles for us to be strengthening. Um, they are part of our core stability because these are the muscles that when we stand on one leg, hold us upright. Without these, we kind of tilt over to the side. So we want our pelvis to stay level when we're on one foot, meaning when we're walking and running. Now let's look at a couple of other things, uh, common mistakes I see with this kind of side shuffle walk, lateral band walks with these here. So I'll put this back around my feet here. And another common mistake that I see sometimes is people kind of go one way with their foot and then they lean their body the other way, meaning they're not staying engaged and body awareness in the rest of their core. So they're doing this kind of a thing where they're going back and forth. There's nothing about that that looks athletic. That just is, you can just look at that and be like, eh, no, I don't think so. That doesn't look right to me, but people do it. So what we're going to do is get that hip back. And when I step one way, my body kind of stays very centered with it. You can either just walk all the way down, say, take five, 10, 15 steps one way and then go the other way. Or you can be right in here like this. Another common mistake that I see is people will, maybe they get in the right position, they do this, but then they let the rubber band, the loop band, really shoot them back here. So they're, we want to be controlled. We want good motor control of those muscles. And so that's gonna be getting in our good, like little uh, hinge position here, engaged in our core so that we're not doing this and nice and controlled with this here. As far as how many should I do, what resistance should I use? It's gonna be variable, it depends on you. What is your current strength? Uh, what is your experience? These go from extra light to extra heavy and everything in between. Um, but most people find that if they find the right resistance, do about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, they're gonna get that good burn in there. Do a few sets of those and that's enough for most people to engage your butt muscles. So there's your lateral band walk. There's the muscles that are used in the most common mistakes that I see people make. So have fun with it. If you've got something valuable out of this, go ahead and like us. If you have questions, uh, comments, or you want more information about how we can help you, go ahead and leave it in the comments below.